Next up, uh, I love these articles by Alex. He's a great writer, but uh, this one fell a little flat. I'm going to explain why. So uh, Bitcoin sees massive inflows from institutions and gold sees massive outflows. So what do we got? So according to CoinShares data published by international news agency Reuters, 1.4 billion of institutional money has flown into Bitcoin focused investment products over the past few weeks. Uh, by contrast, gold has seen massive outflows of 9.2 billion during the same time. So when we look at this, we're like, wow, 9.2 but that's a lot of money. Not. Nah, it's it, it's it's really it's a drop in the bucket. I mean, just our entitled our entire market cap of cryptocurrency digital assets is a drop in the bucket at 560 billion dollars. And it's the thing that I always talk about where I see, you know, all the world's money in a visualization. Just real quick, everybody's seen this a thousand times, but here's a square. It represents 100 billion. So if we get down to gold, this is gold. This is all the money in that is in gold. It's actually at almost 11 trillion dollars. So when we start to talk about, you know, nine billion dollars, that's nothing. That's just nothing. Now, it is over a couple of weeks. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? But again, it's a positive thing, but I see that it should be accelerated at some point. And then just so you know, look at all the money in the world. Uh, there's this one thing that I always like to bring, uh, make mention of, derivatives. You know, like options and futures and swaps and things like that. That's where the money is. And uh, tokenization of real estate and all those good things. So when we start to talk about gold, I mean, even if we capture 25% of uh, gold's market cap and we're at, you know, $2.5 trillion, that'll mean that Bitcoin will be a around $120,000, $150,000 per Bitcoin. I can definitely see that. But this is a good article. But again, falls a little flat. It's just, it's a start. That's all I will say. All right, let's move on.